The FinSERA's funded Entity Project is studying the covalent crosslinks between lignin and hemicelluloses in lignin carbohydrate complexes, so-called LCCs. The goal is to uncover the secret of how nature is able to blend water-repellent and water-attracting components to generate remarkable properties in natural materials. This could be a way to bridge, for instance, hydrophobic and hydrophilic surfaces, for instance, in composites or coatings, where uh, you often want to have something hydrophobic, for instance, on the top of cellulose, but it's sort of a difficult to attach because they repulse each other. But if you have these bridging molecules which are covalently linked, you have the hydrophobic, hydrophobic tail and you have the hydrophilic tail. So we are thinking that that could be one way to bring these uh, molecules to attach to each other. The entity team uses biomass that would normally be considered too difficult to refine further. This is a key objective to increase the value of this untapped resource. Our starting materials are what we call lignin carbohydrate complexes. These are components of biomass that are typically today discarded because of their heterogeneity. The key ingredients for unlocking the potential of this raw material are enzymes, nature's own catalysts. So by using the enzymes, we're controlling that heterogeneity. Actually, we're leveraging it in the end products that we're creating. So with this project, our aim is to use the selectivity of enzymes to tame the heterogeneity of our, of our starting materials so we can create products at the end with, with re reproducible performance. The team is using two classes of enzymes. One are oxidases and a second class are the hydrolases. So oxidases use oxygen to introduce reactive handles into complex substrates, the complex substrates that we're working with. And those reactive handles introduced by the enzyme are very valuable because they permit controlled reassembly of our starting materials into value-added products at the end. The hydrolases, on the other hand, use water to trim specific carbohydrates away from our starting materials, which controls, at the end of the day, their water solubility. And uh, if we can create these uh, LCC type of structures in laboratory, and especially when using enzymes that would enable us to uh, develop new methods for making these hybrid molecules, which are currently made using quite often harsh chemistry. And there have been a lot of advances in bioengineering, biotechnology over the last decade and more that have dramatically reduced the cost to make enzymes. And we, learn, we know a lot more now how to use them effectively in complex scenarios. So the times have changed. The entity team is also employing molecular modeling to predict different outcomes in silico before the laboratory experiments. Molecular modeling allows studying how the individual variables, such as degree of polymerization, branching, and linkage positioning, affect the interactions of the lignin carbohydrate complexes with cellulose surfaces, what the materials rising out of this would have as properties, and trends regarding the solution conditions. This is much more straightforward in modeling than in experimental setups because it's easier in modeling setups to vary individual variables. So the, the molecular modeling helps us determine what not to do. There are many permutations of the enzyme treatments that we can consider, many permutations with the substrate extractions that we can consider, and uh, the, the modeling helps us narrow in on most likely beneficial enzyme treatments or substrate extraction processes. That helps us get to where we want to be quicker. Molecular modeling is a means to chart very efficiently economically. That means both economically in terms of money used and chemicals used, uh, the responses. 
The Entity Team is solving a fundamental challenge, and there are many possible applications across multiple industries. There has been applications for LCCs in, in pharmaceutical and cosmetic industry. These have been shown to have antiviral and anti, uh, in general antimicrobial activities, also anti-radiation, so UV protectant activities, and also antioxidant activities, which on the other hand, if you can uh, bind the LCC structure on the cellular surface, as it seems to be, um, we could use the polyphenolic domain coming out from the uh, surface to cross-link other molecules like dyes or perhaps fats on the cellular surface to create different types of functionalities.